What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to get a video to have a transparent background or an alpha channel background that you can remove. Kind of like a PNG can have a transparent background but this is kind of with a video. It's really useful if you're trying to make any kind of overlays or any kind of lower thirds or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean. First thing you're going to want to do is download QuickTime. So I just googled QuickTime and it's this link support.apple.com. Download that and install it because that gives Vegas an additional render option. So let's assume you have that installed and so what I'm going to do is drag and drop in a picture. This is just a general picture of a Patreon symbol so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and move it here just so we know it's a movable picture. There and so right now the background is black. You see it's black. But in Vegas terms, that's kind of, it's transparent. And I'll explain in a minute. So let's make this animate real quick. So from here to here, we're gonna rotate it that many times. So we know that it's a moving video. So I'm gonna render this. We highlight the whole thing. File, render as. And once you've downloaded QuickTime, what's gonna come up in the options here is QuickTime 7. And so you're gonna choose three megabit per second video and go ahead and hit customize. Here you can change the settings to whatever dimensions you want. You can do 720p or 1080p or anything below. So we're just gonna choose 1080p. Frame rate, I like mine to be at 60 or 30, whatever you want it to be really. It depends on the project. Field order none, aspect ratio one. Video format, we're gonna bring that up to animation. And then once we have it on animation, compressed depth, we're gonna change that down to 32. Quality, high. Every keyframe, I like to put that at whatever my frames per second is. So that says 30, I'm gonna put it at 60 because that's 60 frames a second or really close to it. Once we do that, go to audio, make sure you have your audio set up, which you really won't need it for the most part, unless you want your video with the transparent background to have sound. Streaming, keep this all the same. Project, I like to use best project settings. We go ahead and save this, whatever you want and then hit OK. And then we'll see it there. I'm gonna name this, oh, we'll keep it on title.move, that's perfectly fine, and hit render. Good thing about this is it doesn't actually take that long to render these kind of animations. So once we've done that, I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna open that up. And now I'm gonna drag that clip I just rendered into my timeline. Let's, yeah, hit yes, that's fine, perfect. So we have it right here. Now I'm gonna drag in another clip right here just to show you. So we have this clip of me playing Overwatch right here. So this still has a black background. So what we're gonna do to fix that, because we rendered it as an animation, we're gonna right click on the clip itself, go to properties, go to media, and then under media, we're gonna go to alpha channel, and you could either choose straight unmatted or pre-multiplied. I personally like to use pre-multiplied, so I'm gonna hit okay, and all of a sudden, the background's gone. And there you have it. If you follow those steps correctly, you can make a video with a transparent background or a video with an alpha channel background that you can remove. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that tutorial. If that helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because that'll help me out, and that'll let me know what you guys wanna see next. Also, if you want, you can check out my Patreon. The more patrons I have, the more frequent I can do my giveaways, and the better the prizes will be. I also sell shirts and stuff on Amazon and TeePublic, so all the links will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.